like uh, instead of you putting energy in finding a buyer for that deal and getting that deal closed you're putting energy into trying to protect what's not really yours in the first place you know the fear is age old right the fear of what if somebody else steal the deal from me well the only time you really are at the maximum level of worrying about that is that you're not marketing you don't have a pipeline because my question for you is that why do you have so much time to worry if somebody's going to steal one deal or not there's a good chance that you don't have enough leads coming to your pi pipeline right so we have the five stages we have the data contact leads which is interest equivalent of interest of somebody who wants to sell your property if you have enough of that coming into your pipeline right and you're writing contracts from time to time i think you would do probably less uh, you put less attention on trying to protect every single contract now you should protect your business absolutely but i think the best way you can protect your business is to all right, so I want to talk to the NDA wholesalers out here, right? Let's talk about NDAs. Uh, it's an acronym for non-disclosure agreement. Okay, let's talk about this really quickly. Okay, in fact, what I want to share with you is the only disclosure that matters with wholesaling. Okay, especially as we move into the new era of uh, wholesaling, the digital era of real estate investing things are changing and they're changing very fast and if you don't adjust uh it will work against you <laughs> okay very very important to pay attention to if you don't adjust accordingly um the the, the business the ecosystem the way it works right now the regulations that are flying uh open every day will work against you so we're talking about wholesaling by the way for those of you that don't know what we're talking about you're brand new here make sure you subscribe and hit the like button now wholesaling is the heart and science of finding deeply discounted properties creating a contract that gives you the right to purchase the property and then selling the rights in that contract to another person without ever touching fixing the property or anything like that you can make boatloads of money doing that okay um, it's simple uh, easy it's not relevant okay so now that we know what wholesaling is right so some people have been teaching to use uh, non-disclosure agreement to try to lock up a property okay so what's the idea you lock up a property under a regular purchase contract that's how the business works right you lock up that property uh the idea is that you have a few days 14 days up to 45 days to find a buyer okay generally speaking you're not really telling this the buyer you're not telling the seller that you're going to be finding a buyer you're not telling the seller that you are not going to be the buyer. You're just saying you're part of a network of buyers, which is true, right? And then you're going to try to get them to close in in 10 days or less, right? There's nothing wrong with that. That's ethical in my opinion, okay? As long as, again, uh, you're, you're not going to cheat, steal, or lie. As long as you get them to closing. Now, it also depends on what kind of regulations we have in those individual, your different individual states and local jurisdiction, right? Um, so now, in efforts to try to protect your contract, you gave another document called a non-disclosure agreement uh, to, the, to the seller. Uh, so I'm not really understanding why would you want to do that, you know, so they don't disclose to other people what your price point are. To me, that's a sense of entitlement, okay? First of all, uh, you're within a, a business model that's not exactly conventional. Not conventional doesn't mean it's illegal. It just means there are people in the industry that can find out what you're doing, regardless if it's illegal or not. It doesn't matter. That's not how the world works. The way this world works is that if, 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 if they feel like they can hate on you or you're taking business away from them especially if you're doing things non-conventionally they're gonna call you a thief anyway so now when you now present another document in addition to the purchase agreement called the non-disclosure agreement you're trying to lock them down in spite of the fact that you're not even sure for the most part people are not sure let's be honest right that you can do this deal that you can close this deal right i think it's a sense of entitlement and I think when you start to approach the business from that standpoint, I think you're going to self-sabotage yourself in the business. 
I think uh, instead of you putting energy in finding a buyer for that deal and getting that deal closed, you're putting energy into trying to protect what's not really yours in the first place. You know, the fear is age old, right? The fear of what if somebody else steal the deal from me? Well, the only time you really are at the maximum level of worrying about that is that you're not marketing. You don't have a pipeline. Because my question for you is that why do you have so much time to worry if somebody's going to steal one deal or not? There's a good chance that you don't have enough leads coming to your pi pipeline, right? So we have the five stages. We have the data, contact, leads, which is interest, equivalent of interest of somebody who wants to sell your property. If you have enough of that coming into your pipeline, right, and you're writing contracts from time to time, I think you would do probably less. Uh, you put less attention on trying to protect every single contract now you should protect your business absolutely but i think the best way you can protect your business is to focus on not stealing not cheating not lying focus on quality work focus on quality uh prospecting focus on quality follow-up make sure that they feel safe make sure you're building rapport with the people you're supposed to be doing business with right that's what i think okay and that's what i put all my energy in i put all my energy in taking care of the people that wants to be taken care of some people are just going to need to be free some prospects some customers are they need to be free and you need to set them free so you can create the time to help those that wants to be helped see the more time you spend with the wrong type of prospect the more time you're spending away from the type of prospect that will pay you big bucks so, and that's a big mistake. It's a terrible mistake I see people make all the time. Uh, so what if somebody steal the deal? And so uh, I heard about this thing called the NDA. No, don't do that, okay? As a matter of fact, the only disclosure that matters in this business is your disclosure, a full disclosure to the seller and let them know what you're up to and let them know like, listen, I'm gonna talk to my investors and my network and obviously I only get paid if I help you get rid of this property. So I'm going to do everything in my power to help us get rid of the property. Is that okay? So are you going to be the buyer? Well, I am in the network of the buyers and I could be the buyer. It just depends. So let me get this contract and let me see what we can do. I promise I'll give you a good answer. Solid rocks, solid answer in 48 hours or less. Is that okay? That's it. You keep it simple, honest, and go work on finding buyer. If you're following our instructions on how to find buyer here, it's very simple as well. Okay.